Good morning, dear students. Our grammar lesson today is past simple and past continuous. Let's start. First, by the past simple form. The past simple form, as of course you know, is that we put the verb in the past form by putting ed by the end of the verb or changing the verb for the irregular ones. Like here, I, he, she, we, left, which is the past form for leave, return, the past form for return. This is the question form. To form a question using the past simple, I start by putting did at the beginning of this question. Did he leave or did he return? Which means that I have to put the verb in the infinitive form. Infinitive means the verb in its stem form. Base one. The answer by using yes or no, yes he did, or no he didn't, by putting not, if it's a question starting by did. So the question started by did, and the verb should be in the infinitive form. The negative form, he didn't leave, it's the same, put didn't, plus leave or return, which is also the infinitive form of the verb. This is the negative form of the, pa of the past simple tense statement. The usages for the tense, the past simple is used first. First point here, for an action which happened at a definite time in the past. The time is stated, already known, or implied. When I say that it's a definite time, it means that I should mention when exactly this action happened in the past time. By using yesterday, in 1999, uh, last year, so this means that it's a definite time in the past. Example number A. They spent their holidays in Switzerland last winter. This is the mentioned time or the stated time in the past. They had a great time. Had here is the past form for have. Last winter, the time here is stated, as I said. So this bolded word is the time expression, which is last winter, referring to the past time. Number two, or number B, Shakespeare wrote a lot of plays. He wrote, wrote here is past form for write. Write wrote and the PP is written. Shakespeare is now dead. Of course, we don't have here any, any, any mention time. We don't have any time by the end of the sentence because this has happened already in the past. All of us know that now he's dead. So it's a past action. Without putting the date by the end of the sentence, we put road here, we use past form for the verb because this is already a past action. The second point here or the second usages is for action which happened immediately one after the other in the past. Two actions, both of them happened immediately one after the other one in the past time. Like this example, first he read the message, then he called his boss. The two action happened the one, one, the previous one happened, and then the second one without space between them. After he finished reading the message, he called his boss. So I put the two actions in the past simple. No duration between the two actions. Number two, she sealed the letter. She sealed, she sealed it. Put a stamp on it, you know the stamp? Put the stamp on the letter, on it, and posted it. The three actions happened, one after the other, and the other one, the three ones happened spontaneously without space between, without timing between each one of them. That's why I put the three verbs in the past. Here we have put. The past form for put is also put. It's put, put, put as cut, 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 shut, shut, shut. So we have some verbs. We don't change the past form of, its, of the verb itself. And the same for the PP. Sealed is the past form for seal by putting ed by the end and posted is for post. Here, past habits or states which are now finished. Any, anything that we used to do in the past, used to do in the past, but now in the right time, we don't do it anymore. In such cases, we can also use the expression used to plus infinitive. You, you remember this form, I used to ride a bicycle when I was young. I used to play football when I was young, which means that nowadays I didn't do this anymore. I don't do this anymore. The third point here, 
past habits for the past habits with or states which are now finished any habit you used to do in the past and nowadays we don't do it anymore we can use in this case the expression used to plus the infinitive form of the verb like when i say in the past i used to eat chocolate but nowadays i stopped doing this in the past, I used to ride a bicycle. When I say I used to ride a bicycle, this means that riding the bicycle was a past habit. Nowadays, I didn't do this anymore. I don't do it anymore. People traveled or used to travel by carriage. You see, used to plus infinitive. Any two should be followed by an infinitive form of the verb. By carriage in 1885. In 1885, people used to do this, used to travel by using the carriage. The last point here on number four, we talk about the lives of people who are no longer alive. If we are going to talk about somebody and this one no longer alive, is that I should use the past simple form. Marilyn Monroe stared in a successful films. She stared, she, this was in the past because nowadays she's not alive, she died. Okay? The time expression used with the past simple form. Of course, you know them yesterday, last night, last week, last month, last year. Anything which is related to the past, I can use it as a time expression to express the past simple tense. Two days, two months, two weeks, two days ago. Okay, so ago is very important, which is refers to a past state. Then, when, how long ago, which differs from the present perfect continuous. As I said before, that how long is one of the most important time expressions for the present perfect progressive or present perfect continuous. But if I put ago, this means that I'm asking about past state or past action. In 1992, in 1845, so in plus a specific date refers to a past action or a past statement. Past continuous form. The past continuous form is totally different from the past. I or he or she, this is the, sim the singular form, plus was plus verb plus ing. You know was is the past form for verb to be. Was for the singular form and where for the plural form. So I put was because we have he, she and I. We, they, plus where, which is also the past form for verb to be, but in the plural form, where, watching TV. This is the question form by starting by was or where. Was he, was she watching TV? This means that I have to put the ing form also in the question. Were they watching TV? Of course, the answer will be yes, he was, yes, they were, no, they weren't. Or, no, he wasn't. So by putting not by the end of the helping verb, was or were. This is the negative form. He wasn't watching TV or they weren't watching TV. So by putting not, this is the short form for not. Wasn't, weren't. Okay? Okay. The past continuous is used, the first point, for an action which was in progress at a stated time in the past. Progress means taking time in the past. We do not mention when the action started or finished. It's not mentioned in the sentence, okay? Like this example. At three o'clock yesterday, at three o'clock yesterday, we were sitting at an outdoor cafe. At this specific time yesterday in the past, so specific time yes, plus yesterday, or plus last, okay? This refers to the past continuous. I don't know when exactly we, we, um, we went to the cafe. It's not mentioned in the sentence. All what's mentioned is that during this time at three o'clock yesterday, we were sitting at an outdoor cafe. This is specific duration in the past. So this is past continuous or past progressive. Temporary past states, temporary past states or actions. Temporary means it just take a specific time in the past. My grandfather was writing a play in those days. In those days in the past, he was writing the play. He was doing this in a specific time in the past. My grandfather was writing a play in those days. Okay, this means that he was writing at some time in the past. 
He kept doing this just for a specific time, temporary state in the past. For an action which was in progress, when another action interrupted it. This blue arrow refers to the long action. We put the long action in the past continuous. As you see, the long action should be in the past continuous form. He was walking. He was walking. This is the long action. Then another action interrupted this long action and stopped it. When he slipped on a banana skin, he slipped. Of course, once he slipped, he would stop walking. So the long action interrupted by short action, the short action should be expressed in past simple, while the long one should be expressed in the long, sorry, in the past continuous. So he was walking when he slipped on a banana skin. This is a short action, past simple, slip, slipped, and this is the long one. For two or more simultaneous past actions, it means that no one interrupted the other one. As you see, two blue arrows refers to two long actions. The first one in the past continuous, also the second one in the past continuous. She was talking on the phone while, watch this word please, while he was drawing a picture. He was drawing a side and she was talking on the phone. No one interrupted the other one. I was studying while my mother was cooking. She was cooking in the kitchen and I was doing my homework. I didn't interrupt her and she didn't interrupt me. So, past continuous, past continuous. Okay, to describe background scenes to a story. If I ask you to write um, a story happened, for, happened in the past, Writing the story needs past simple tense. The event of the story itself, all of the events, needs the past, the past simple. While the background scenes of the story should be expressed in the past continuous. Like this one. There were a lot of people at the station. There were a lot of people at the station. Some were talking. Now I'm describing the scene for you just to imagine the scene. Some were talking on their mobiles. Others were sleeping. Others were sleeping on the station. Few were walking up and down. I'm expressing. I'm expressing by using the past continuous. Okay? Another example. Todd and Alex were walking through the forest. They were walking. I'm describing the scene now. The sun was shining and the birds were singing. This is the scene for the story. I didn't go through the events right now. Once I start the events, I should use the past simple. While describing the scene or the background of the scene, I should use past continuous. This is very important and you should use it while doing your um, writing skills. Okay? Time expressions with the past continuous. The time expression refers totally from the past words. Here we have while. While refers to the long action. When, which is should be followed by past simple, not by past continuous. I'll explain this in details now. As, just as. Yesterday morning, so yesterday plus a specific time in the past. Yesterday morning, yesterday at 6 o'clock, etc. So, while plus past continuous. This because while refers to the long action. While I was getting dressed, while I was putting on my clothes, while, while I was getting dressed, the bell rang. This is the short action which, which interrupted me. So, I stopped now and I'm ready to go to open the door. The long action interrupted by the short one. Here you have while plus was and the verb get plus ing. I double T here because of the vowels. We have E and I. So I have to double the last letter. While plus past continuous. This is the form or this is the rule for using while in the past continuous. While plus past continuous and the other verb in the past continuous. This is another case. This one while interrupted by another action as we said. Long action interrupted by short action. This is for the second point I explained. Two stimulaneous past continuous action. While I was some bathing, Ted was swimming. He was swimming and I was some bathing. He didn't interrupt me and I didn't interrupt him. Two stimulaneous action by using while at the beginning of the sentence also. Understood? Okay. This is for as. As also should be followed by past continuous and the other verb should be in the past simple form. As I was having a bath, 
having means taking here because it's a state of verb. It differs from have. When I have something, it means that I own it. I have, but here I'm having or I was having. It means that I'm taking or I was taking. So I was having a bath, the lights went out. Okay, this is short action, interrupted me, of course, because I was, huh, I was having a bath. Then suddenly the light went. This means that this short action interrupted me. When plus past simple, this is very important. When should be followed by any simple tense. It's not a must to be past simple. Okay, but because we are explaining now the past simple tense, so I said when plus past. But sometimes I put or I use when plus past present simple. Okay, but here, watch out this when plus past simple and the other action past continuous one. My mom was cooking when I came home. This is the short action. So when should be followed by short action. When I came home. And it's better to be in the middle of the sentence. Okay, or at the beginning, it doesn't matter, but it's, I prefer it to be in the middle of the sentence. Okay, here we have an exercise to apply what we have explained. The first sentence here. I haven't heard from Jason for two weeks. And I want you to use ago. Of course, when I ask you to use ago, which is time expression for the past, it means that you are going to change the sentence from the present perfect form, as you see, haven't heard, which is the past for here. Here, heard. Past perfect. PP, past participle. This is present perfect and heard is the PP form of the verb. Okay, rewrite using ago. Hmm. Let's see the answer. I change it from present perfect to past by using didn't, did because it's the past and not because it's the negative form. And instead of saying, I haven't heard, I say, I didn't. I didn't hear from Jason two weeks ago. And instead of for two weeks, for because it's present perfect, but now I have to put ago. So I put the duration plus ago, two weeks ago, not for two weeks, for plus duration for present perfect, two weeks plus ago for past simple, okay? The second one, she had a puppy when she was young. She had a puppy when she was young. Rewrite using not. It's negative, negative four. Okay? Okay. She didn't have, didn't plus. Infinitive form for the verb have. Instead of had, it will be have. So she didn't have a puppy when she was young. She didn't have it. The third one. Jack goes to the cinema every week. This is present simple form, and I want you to use last week. This means that you are going to change the sentence from present simple to past simple. Hmm. And instead of goes, it will be went. Went because the past form for go is went. Jack went to the cinema last week. So this is very important to read well what's between the two brackets and try to change the sentence. We call it sentence transformation. That's because I use the given word, but I have to apply the tense which is related to the given word. Number four, we traveled to China and a storm hit the plane. We, tra we traveled to China and a storm hit the plane. They write using while. While here is capitalized, so you have to start by using while. While plus past continuous and then if the other action interrupted the long one, it will be in the past simple. Okay, let's see. While we were traveling, this is the long action verb, while we were traveling to China, what happened? A storm hit the plane. This is the short one, hit, hit, hit. Okay, we don't change the verb like put, put, put. So while we were traveling to China, a storm hit the plane. Number five. She studies English every day. The same using yesterday, six o'clock. Not only yesterday. If I give you yesterday, this will be past simple. But I give you a specific time in the past, which is the difference between past simple and past continuous. Okay, yesterday, six o'clock. Hmm. Yesterday at six o'clock, I started by this word, this word, or I can put it by the end of the sentence. It doesn't matter. She was studying English. Okay, this is past continuous because yesterday plus a specific time in the past. Number six, they practiced for the concert. Their mother called. They practiced and then their mother called them, interrupted them, of course. Be right using when. When should be followed by the past one. Past verb. 
They were practicing. They were practicing. This is the long action verb for the concert. When what happened? When their mother called. Of course, once she called them, they were interrupted by this. Okay? Seven. Erica has her hair cut. The other sentence, her sister reads magazines. Her sister reads the magazine. And then I ask you to use while. Of course, while at the beginning of the sentence, it will be while Eric was having her hair cut. Okay, what happened for her sister? Her sister was reading magazines. Her sister reading the magazines away and she was having her hair cut. Okay, two simultaneous action. No one interrupted the other one. Okay, number eight. How long is it since he found a new job? Rewrite using when. It means that I'm going to form another question by using when. Okay, let's see the answer. When did he find a new job? When did plus infinitive, when did he find a new job? And it should be ended also by the question mark as the previous one. Number nine, I haven't spoken to him for a week. I haven't spoken to him for a week and I want you to use last. Present perfect would be changed to past simple. Okay, so instead of saying I haven't, I'll say I didn't speak to him last week. I didn't speak to him last week. Okay, thank you so much and I hope you understand.